This is a case of Safano-Femoral junction incompetence. On color Doppler, we see forward flow seen in blue color in the common femoral vein and the great saphenous vein. On Valsalva, there is reverse flow seen as red color in the common femoral vein and the great saphenous vein. This suggests saphenofemoral junction incompetence. On spectral Doppler, on Valsalva, there is reverse flow seen as flow above the baseline on Valsalva maneuver. A reverse flow duration of more than 500 milliseconds or 0.5 seconds is suggestive of a significant reflux or reverse flow or incompetence. In this case, the duration of reverse flow during Valsalva is more than 4 to 5 seconds, which suggests a very severe saphenofemoral junction incompetence. As we move the sample gate from the saphenofemoral junction to the great saphenous vein as well as downwards to the uh, common femoral vein, we see that there is a significant reflux in both the common femoral vein as well as in the great saphenous vein. It is not uncommon to have deep vein incompetence as in this case the common femoral vein also shows significant reflux or incompetence. In addition, it is a good practice to measure the size or diameter of the common femoral vein as well as the great saphenous vein. Both these veins show significant increase in diameter as the grade of reflux or incompetence progresses. Such patients would greatly benefit from surgical intervention to correct this pathology. It is also good to get repeated readings of the spectral Doppler to confirm the findings. In this case, repetition of the spectral Doppler tracing confirms the findings of a very severe saphenofemoral junction incompetence. Thus, the consequence was that this patient has severe varicose vein disease.